boating, riverside scenery, and photography. What more could you want? You have joined me at the crack of dawn. It's about four o'clock in the morning to try and track down the beautiful but elusive Kingfisher. The sun was putting on a show and bathing everywhere in a glorious light. This certainly was the golden hour. I have got everything going on today, it's fantastic. This is what I say about getting up, get out, get the shots. I've got a beautiful sunrise happening in front of me there. <sighs> Even if I don't find kingfishers today, it doesn't matter. If I do find kingfishers, it's a bonus. But just being out, experiencing this beautiful sunrise, experiencing the river first thing in the morning, it's absolutely magical and I recommend it to anybody. Oh, it's just amazing. Would you just look at this gorgeous sunrise behind me? This is why photographers get up so early. <laughs> it's gorgeous. People who wake late miss one of the greatest feats of nature, repeated in full stereo vision each and every day, the rise of the sun. The early morning hours are so peaceful and so quiet. It's my favorite time of day. I truly enjoy that time of peace, that time to myself, when I can think, when I can read, and when I can breathe. There is something magical and mystical about experiencing the marina and the boats resting in the rainbow coloured light. I could have stood and watched the morning mist all day, but it wasn't going to hang around forever. So it was time to get teasel loaded and get out on the beautiful river and experience all of this morning glory. After successfully navigating the very low bridge, you will come to Barnwell Mill, which is probably the oldest on the river. The present building, constructed from local limestone, dates back around 300 years, but there has been a mill on the site since at least 875 AD.
slowly and steadily cruising teasel into the lock and with my trusty windlass to hand, Upper Barnwell Lock was my first of two locks I was going to negotiate today to get Teasel to the location to try and find the Kingfishers. The River Nen runs through a broad, picturesque valley where grazing sheep and cattle act out a timeless scene on the lush riverside meadows. After two hours of continuous cruising and negotiating locks, it was time to stop for a well-earned cup of tea and get myself packed up and ready for my adventure. Right, enough of this lazing around, we've got kingfishers to find. Teasel's all tied up, nice and secure, so I'm making my way down to the river uh, where I've sighted kingfishers before, just fleeting uh, glimpses of them, just little blue specks. So uh, I'm heading down to the river where I have seen them before, so hopefully that gives me a slightly better chance of finding them. So come along. You know what sometimes it's not always about just taking the right picture taking the best picture sometimes it's just about being here being outside in the fresh air and just enjoying the beautiful scenery I mean look at this behind me it's absolutely wonderful I, I just can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be at the moment this place is just absolutely stunning It's just great to be by the river. It was a tough two to three hours walk to my location through meadows and woodlands and across footpaths, but there was plenty to see and experience along the way. Finally, it was time to come off the well-beaten track through some thick woodland to my location. Okay, well I found my spot and uh, weather's a bit changeable. It's uh, trying to rain, we've got the sunshine as well, we've got mist today, so a uh, bit of changeable weather. So I'm gonna bunker down here. This is my spot, this is where I've seen the Kingfisher before in the willows behind me here. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. And it's just a case now of being very quiet and sitting, waiting and being very patient and hopefully we'll get to see the Kingfisher. I 
I'm in luck. The kingfisher's made an appearance. I am just having a really good morning. Um, I've been waiting a couple of hours and the Kingfisher made an appearance. That's absolutely fantastic. But um, to top it off, I've seen an otter playing in the water as well. I've tried to capture it on the camera. It's, it's, uh, I'm not sure it's really come out very well, but uh, it's just the icing of the cake. It's, it's fantastic. And it's, like I always say, it's, it's just brilliant being down by the river. Settle for oh, must be about five or six seconds, so you have to be really, really quick, really quiet as well, so not to scare them off. Because if they know you're here, there's no chance of them coming back. Absolutely brilliant! I never thought I'd get to see kingfishers like this. So excited. shots of the kingfisher but I also saw an otter playing in the water and that has just made my day it's it's so worth getting up early and coming out and getting the shots it's absolutely brilliant and oh, I'm just absolutely speechless it's just oh, it's amazing I just can't put it into words seeing a kingfisher so close up and seeing the otters as well it's, it's magical Mission accomplished, it was time to cruise home. The day was still bright and the weather was very hot, but I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. On the slow majestic River Nen, cruising in the sunlight, it was beautiful. A magical ending to an amazing experience I will never forget.